In Greek mythology, Pegasus was an immortal winged horse, one of the two children of Poseidon and Medusa. Along with his brother, the golden-sworded Chrysior, Pegasus sprang forth most miraculously from his pregnant mother's neck after Perseus had beheaded her. He belonged to the Greek hero Bellerophon for some time, before being stabled by Zeus and tasked with drawing the chariot of his thunderbolts. Hesiod says that the name Pegasus originates from the Greek word for springs, Pege, since he was supposedly born near the springs of the ocean, but he was also associated with water due to an extraordinary trait he had inherited from his father, Poseidon, the god of the sea. Pegasus was also capable of creating water streams wherever he'd struck his hoof. At least two famous springs in Greece, both named Hippocrene, meaning horse spring, were widely believed to have been issued forth by the hoof of Pegasus. The most famous one of the two was located on Mount Helicon, the sacred abode of the Muses. Its waters, when drunk, enthused poets with inspiration and creativeness. For a brief period, Pegasus belonged to a mortal. Bellerophon, the celebrated hero and slayer of monsters. The notoriously wild and free-roaming Pegasus was finally tamed by one of the greatest Greek heroes, Bellerophon. But he didn't do it alone. He had a lot of help from the goddess Athena. According to Pindar, one of the most celebrated ancient Greek poets, the goddess gifted him with a charmed golden bridle, which Bellerophon used to capture Pegasus when the stallion was drinking water at the Pierian Spring, another water source associated with Pegasus and the Muses. Riding on Pegasus, Bellerophon was capable of overcoming the Amazons, the fire-breathing Chimera, and the warlike Salome. Pegasus was also the means through which Bellerophon exacted his revenge on Jobate's wife, Sthenibouia, who testified falsely against Bellerophon after he had rejected her advances. According to some stories, Bellerophon offered her a ride on Pegasus, which she gladly accepted. However, as they were flying over the sea, the winged stallion flung her down to its depths. Little did Bellerophon know at the time that he would meet a similar fate. After his numerous victories against all kinds of opponents, Bellerophon started believing that the mortals weren't worthy of his presence and that he deserved to live among the gods on Mount Olympus. So, he mounted his faithful horse and started his journey upward. Zeus, angered by Bellerophon's pride, soon sent a gadfly which stung Pegasus bad enough that the winged horse threw his rider down to earth, killing Bellerophon. After some time, Pegasus reached Mount Olympus and Zeus stabled him with his other steeds, soon after he was tasked with drawing his thunderbolt carrying chariot. After years of service, Zeus awarded Pegasus with a constellation, which bears his name to this very day.